And today I have a very beautiful story. It's called Franklin's Flying Bookshop by Jane Campbell. Are you ready? Franklin the dragon loves books and likes to read them out loud for everyone to hear. If only the village folk weren't so terrified of him. Fortunately, he finds a kindred spirit in Luna who loves stories just as much. Together, they hatch a plan to open a bookshop, a flying bookshop, that is, right on Franklin's back. <laughs> From the best-selling author of the Weird Things Customers Say in Bookshop series, Jen Campbell and an award-winning illustrator, Katie Hahn, it comes this heartwarming tale about the magic of books. Okay, let's do this, guys. Franklin's Flying Bookshop by Jen Campbell. Franklin loves stories. Stories keep him warm at night. His front door is a bookcase that keeps out the wind. There are lots of books inside the cave that Franklin lives in. He likes to read them out loud for everyone to hear. Guys, meet Franklin. He loves to read. Every day, Franklin reads about King Arthur and roller skating, about electricity and baking. He reads about spiders and ballet. When the sun goes down, Franklin reads by the light of a thousand fireflies. Because fireflies like to hear stories too. There is a village near Franklin's cave. Sometimes Franklin goes there. But it is always quiet and it is always empty. And he can never find anyone to read stories to. So, Franklin goes home and reads about gymnastics and helps the bats in his cave set up a trapeze. Then he yawns very loudly and stretches his tail and climbs into bed with a cup of chamomile tea. <laughs> He sleeps stacked up under hundreds of comics and dreams about Vikings sailing over the sea. One day, by the stream, Franklin sees a man. What, 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 what are you? cries the man, quaking in his boots. I'm Franklin, says Franklin, and he holds out. His hand. I'm a dragon who loves books and I live in a cave. But the man drops his fishing rod and runs far away. So Franklin goes home and reads about music and helps the mice in his cave start up a band. <laughs> Next day, by the farm, Franklin sees a lady. What are you? cries the lady, shivering on the spot. I'm, I'm Franklin, says Franklin, as he holds out his hand. I'm a dragon and I'm a band manager and I like ballet. But the lady screams loudly and runs far away. <laughs> Next day, in the woods, Franklin sees a young girl. She has bright red hair, the same color as the leaves, and she reads, she's reading a book sitting under a tree. Who are you? asks the girl, jumping up to her feet. I'm, I'm Franklin, says Franklin, and he holds out his hand. I'm a dragon who likes stargazing and playing crochet. I love dragons, cried the girl, and she shakes Franklin's hand. You're in this book I'm reading about a faraway land. Luna tells Franklin she's read about remote secret islands, about treasure hunts and pirates, about fruit bats and acrobats and how to be a spy. Franklin tells Luna she's read about strode fighters and fire eaters, about carcasses and ant eaters, about flower arranging and carol singing and making up a pie. Luna and Franklin feel like they are made up out of stories. 
stories with exciting beginnings, thrilling middles and very happy ends. Stories about new people and strange places and about making friends. They want to share their favorite books with as many people as they can. So sit, sit down together and come up with a plan. <gasps> Good Luna and Franklin. They hoist bookshelves up high with the help of the mice and tip drops around and round to make sure they fit tight. They move a sofa, some cake tins, tie comics on with strings. Ooh! <gasps> Flying library! To make a small lopsided bookshop between Franklin's wings. Everyone climbs aboard. Luna holds her breath. The mice hold each other. The fireflies gasp and the bats cross their toes. Franklin bends down low and runs as fast as he can. Ooh. Franklin lands his flying bookshop in the middle of the village. It's the dragon! cries the fisherman. What a monster! Rana the cries. His name is Franklin, shouts Luna, a fierce look in her eyes. We built this bookshop together from the books in his cave. Franklin's kind and is clever and he is my friend. There is a small silence. Franklin suffles his feet in the quiet street. It's nice to meet you. He says as he waves at the crowd who have stopped in their tracks and are listening now. We have lots of stories that we'd love to share. Please come and say hello and pull up a chair. <laughs> the fireflies light up the shelves, the bats cartwheel along the bookcases, and the mice clear their throats and start singing songs. It isn't long before the villagers start taking a look. Climbing up onto Franklin to peer at the books. <laughs> <Ay. coughs> Look at those mice. He whispers tales about dragons and how to make cream brulee. And everyone is listening to what he has to say. <laughs> Let's fly, Luna smiles as she... As the, sorry, as the fireflies dance and the acrobats show off their kung fu. So they hold on tight as Franklin takes light, reading books by the light of the moon. Ooh, flying bookshop. Oh, for Ollie and Phoebe, Jane Campbell, from our family, Katie Harnett. What a lovely story. What a beautiful story about stories. That's right. <laughs> oh, this is lovely story. Thank you so much for tuning in. It has so many things about they have amazing stories. That's right. And guess what? Flying bookshop. <laughs> How amazing is that? I wish I could read this. I wish I could do my story time. That flying bookshop, how amazing it would be. 